Welcome to New to the Street. I'm Anna Berry. Let's break it down. Pet Vivo Holdings, which trades on the NASDAQ under the symbol PETV, is an emerging biomedical device company focused on the commercialization of innovative medical therapeutics for companion animals and animal athletes. Today, we are speaking with John Lai, the CEO of Pet Vivo, as well as Spencer Breithop, because... Spencer Brighthop recently joined the board of directors. So welcome, gentlemen. Happy to have you on New to the Street. Hey, thanks Thank for you. having us on. We appreciate it. All right, Spencer, we want you to talk about what this means to you. Give us a little bit of your industry experience and why it's so important that you just joined Pet Vivo. Well, I'll tell you, I was excited to join the board of Pet Vivo because I spent my whole life in the animal health industry. I grew up in a veterinary practice, so I understand how they work, how they function. And then I moved into manufacturing in the animal health space. And then I moved over to being a distributor in the animal health space. So after 30 years, I've seen a lot of great products come across the board. And at MWI, I saw this product and realized that the potential that it had, it would not only change pets' lives, horses' lives, and make them much better and will extend racehorses lives. And it's, it's a truly unique product that will change the industry. And I'm excited to be a part of it. Well, give us your extensive history in this industry. Talk a little bit about your vision and what you're going to bring as part of the board of directors. Well, I am. Um, look, like I said, I know this industry inside and out. I know the players. I know the people in the industry. And it, this is a real um, industry that your word is your bond. And if you're part of the industry and live the industry, you can be successful. So I want to bring that creativity and bring the industry I know to Pet Vivo to get more excitement. We need more, bigger share of voice. And that's what I want to do is get Pet Vivo a greater share of voice quickly because it's a great product. We just need to get the word out about it. Yes, it is. John, I'd love to hear some of your remarks. Every time I talk to you, you have so much passion for this and it truly is going to change so many lives. So tell us a little bit about uh, the importance and what it means to have Spencer joining the board. Well, Spencer brings a, quite a bit of uniqueness to the board of directors. We do not have anybody within the board of directors that are specifically in the companion animal health space as well as the agriculture animal space. Uh, he's been on both sides of it. Um, and he also chairs the technology corridor outside of uh, Kansas City with 26 animal health companies uh, that are part of the organization. So he sees all the technologies and what's happening in the marketplace. And it was really uh, good to be working with him when he was with MWI the last two years to be able to come to uh, an exclusive distribution agreement. We're very happy with that relationship. But he also gives our board of directors a external view other than management telling what the board is happening, why we're taking this type of direction. Spencer's really able to be a guiding force among the board of directors, knowing we're making the right steps and approaching and positioning the product to the marketplace properly. Perfect. And for some of our viewers who might not know much about Pet Vivo, can you give us a quick overview? Sure. Uh, the initial product we launch is uh, Spring with Osteocushion technology. It's a very effective and innovative tool in the management of osteoarthritis, lameness, as well as potentially rehab situations. So, what is unique with our product is our product is focused on the root cause of osteoarthritis which is bone and bone contact, the wear and the way of cartilage. If you look at the competitor's main focus is uh, they're targeting the symptoms of the product. So there's as much masking the problem, really not addressing the root cause. And that has, masking has a lot of negatives to it because the gold standard treatment is NSAIDs. NSAIDs tend to mask the pain so the dog does not know it shouldn't be running and jumping in certain situations, and it actually ends up tearing and damaging the cartilage quicker. Also, multiple side effects when you're using pharmacology and bi biologics, uh, GI tract bleeding. And just like within humans, if you're overuse of NSAIDs, you're going to have kidney and liver issues. And that's the same with animals. And then one of the major ones is compliance of the pet owner. It's very 
just like in humans, taking pills. They, they, a lot of times they miss dosage, but humans, when they see the dog improve, they stop giving them the medication, you know? And so, so we kind of address that and minimize the compliance requirements because ours is a single injection into the joint. And because it's a matrix and scaffolding effect, so it tends to improve the joint over the next several months, unlike other products that last 30, 45 days. And if people are interested in learning more about Pet Vivo, where can they find more information? So our website, uh, www.petvivo.com, P-E-T-V-I-V-O. Great. Well, Spencer, have you already joined the team or does this come in a few weeks? I've already joined the team. I'm as excited. The announcement came out and uh, I will let you know, I got a lot of uh, messages back saying, hey, we look forward to uh, seeing the success of Pep Vivo. So I'm excited to dig in and, and help out the team. Great. Well, we are excited to follow along with these updates and congratulations on this wonderful addition to the company. And thank you, gentlemen, for breaking it down. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching New to the Street. I'm Anna Berry.